A very interesting point that I wanted to talk to you about, besides other topics that will be covered in this video, is the federal tax credits for electric vehicles. These credits have been crucial to Tesla's success in the United States because they significantly help reduce the cost of acquiring the vehicles. Basically, these tax credits allow buyers to deduct a substantial amount from the total cost of the car on their tax return, making electric vehicles more accessible to a broader audience. These credits not only benefit buyers, but also incentivize the domestic production of electric vehicles. The federal government created these credits to stimulate the manufacturing of EVs within the country, helping to create jobs and foster the development of green technologies. This has been a significant boost for companies like Tesla, which have been leading innovation in the electric vehicle market. However, eligibility for these tax credits now depends on the origin of the batteries used in Tesla cars. Recently, Tesla started selling variants of some models, like the Model 3 and Model Y, which may or may not qualify for the tax credit, depending on the type of battery they use. This change was introduced to align with new battery sourcing rules, which require a certain percentage of battery materials to be sourced from domestic or partner countries. If you buy a new Tesla and qualify for the tax credit, you will receive a vehicle with Panasonic batteries that meet the tax credit requirements. These batteries are produced in collaboration with Panasonic, a longtime partner of Tesla, and meet the necessary criteria to qualify for the tax incentives. This means you can deduct up to $7,500 from the cost of your Tesla on your tax return, depending on the model and your personal eligibility. On the other hand, if you do not qualify for the tax credit, or if you opt for a version of the vehicle that does not use Panasonic batteries, you may receive a car with LG batteries. These batteries are a more economical alternative, allowing Tesla to offer lower prices for these models. However, these batteries do not meet the tax credit criteria, so you will not be able to take advantage of the same discount on your tax return. This new approach by Tesla to manage battery logistics is a smart strategy to maximize efficiency and reduce costs. However, it is important for buyers to be aware of these differences when making their choice. Panasonic batteries are often considered superior, with better charging performance and greater durability. Therefore, even if you do not qualify for the tax credit, it might be worth opting for a model with Panasonic batteries if possible. In summary, federal tax credits have been a key factor in Tesla's success, making their vehicles more accessible and incentivizing domestic production. However, the new dependence on the origin of the batteries adds an extra layer of complexity to the purchasing process. So, do your research and choose wisely to make the most of these incentives and ensure you get the best value for your new Tesla. Moving on, the Cybertruck has attracted a lot of attention since its launch, both positive and negative. Recently, the Cybertruck has faced some significant recalls. Some owners reported that the accelerator pedal covers were coming loose and getting stuck in the floor, causing the car to accelerate. This problem led to the recall of 3,878 Cybertrucks, requiring owners to take their vehicles in for service. Two months later, Another recall was issued, this time for the windshield wiper motor, which failed due to excessive electrical current. This problem can cause extremely poor visibility in heavy rain conditions. Additionally, another recall was issued due to the trim on the truck bed, which was poorly adhered and could come loose, creating a hazard on the road. These recalls affected approximately 70% of all Cybertrucks on the road, which is not good news for Tesla. However, it is important to remember that other manufacturers, like Ford, are also facing major issues with recalls. Speaking of prices, Tesla is aware that cost is an important factor for many potential buyers. Therefore, they have been adjusting prices periodically and offering different incentives. Recently, they offered a 0.99% interest rate discount for the Model Y, which boosted sales, as well as a similar but less aggressive discount for the Model 3. In addition to federal tax credits, many states and localities offer additional incentives for electric vehicles. In California, for example, 
you can receive up to $10,000 off when trading in an old gas-powered vehicle for a new Tesla thanks to the Clean Cars for All program. This can reduce the cost of a new Model Y to just $27,400. And there's more. If you are a resident of a disadvantaged community in California, you may be eligible for an additional $7,500 grant, further reducing the cost of your new Tesla. With all these incentives, it's easy to see how beneficial it can be to research the available incentives in your area before buying an electric vehicle. Tesla is also facing changes in their supercharger team. Recently, many employees were laid off, which opened up opportunities for competitors like Revel. They took advantage of the situation and hired former Tesla employees to strengthen their own fast charging networks, which could change the competitive landscape for EV charging infrastructure. With all these developments, it is clear that Tesla is constantly evolving. Whether it's adjusting prices, dealing with recalls, or managing battery logistics, the company is always looking for ways to improve and adapt to the market. And that's what makes Tesla such an interesting company to follow. Now, let's talk a bit more about federal tax credits. These credits are not just an incentive for buyers, but also a way to promote the domestic production of electric vehicles. This helps create jobs and strengthen the local economy, as well as encourage the adoption of cleaner and more sustainable technologies. However, eligibility for these credits can be confusing especially with Tesla's new strategy of selling vehicle variants with different types of batteries. So, it's important to do your research and understand what type of battery your vehicle has before buying, especially if the tax credit is an important factor for you. Returning to the Cybertruck, it's interesting to see how Tesla handles the problems that arise. Although recalls can be inconvenient, they show that the company is willing to correct mistakes and ensure the safety of its customers. This is especially important for a vehicle as innovative as the Cybertruck. Speaking of innovation, we can't forget Tesla's initiatives to make their vehicles more accessible. Offering incentives like inventory discounts, referral discounts, and free charging is a smart way to attract more buyers and increase sales. And with federal and state tax credits, buying a Tesla can be more affordable than you might think. In closing, I want to remind you that it is always a good idea to research the incentives available in your area before buying an electric vehicle. Combining federal tax credits, state, and local incentives, you can save a significant amount of money. And of course, choosing the right type of battery for your new Tesla can make all the difference in your driving experience. I hope you enjoyed today's updates on Tesla, Keep following our channel for more information and updates on electric vehicles and everything related to the world of Tesla. Thank you for watching and see you next time.